letting you know you you're not alone letting you know you you're not alone this is a story about keeping secrets i made this dresser over two months ago but i could not share it with you until now i also went to france and there's a lot i cannot say about that trip but I will share with you what I can tell you. Thinking, something in the silence speaking. I wanna try to understand. There are many times in life where you wanna say something, but you've gotta keep your lips zipped and you can't tell the whole story. Last spring, I was approached by a so-called tour guide asking if I would teach a paint class in France. If I could recruit 10 students, I would get a free trip minus the airfare. It had been three years since I took a vacation, so I rounded up nine friends instead, and I took the free trip. What happened next could have been a made-for-TV movie. But wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. First, I need to tell you about the new molds from Iron Orchid Design. I was lucky enough to get samples before they were revealed to the public. The IOD sisters sent me the molds and they said that I could play with them. I ripped open the envelope. I took one look at them. I know exactly what I wanna do with these molds. I had this picture saved from Pinterest. I can finally create this, this anthropology knockoff and I made it. And then I sent Sally and Josie an email. Can I post the video? And they were like, oh no, no, we love it, but you have to wait. You've gotta wait until the big day when we reveal all of the new molds. We're not shipping the molds for at least two months. You've gotta keep your lips zipped. The dresser I use for this project is an Ikea type of furniture made out of MDF and it had a very slick surface. So in this case, I decided to give it a rough sand before applying a mixture of mint chip and white swan. Over my head, even because DIY paint is clay based, in most cases it will go on any surface without sanding or priming. This is one of the few exceptions. So I spent about five minutes just quickly scuffing up the surface of the dresser before applying the paint. I guess if you were free. This whole situation with the molds is very similar to what happened to me in France. If you watched my last video, I will link it down below. That's part one to the story. There is so much that happened that I cannot tell you because I'm worried about the legal ramifications of what I would really like to say. If you were a tour guide and you were taking people to France, if I had a group of social media influencers with combined platforms of a lot of people, I would try and make it the best trip ever. This is a great opportunity for people to see this awesome trip that I offer. And this would be a great marketing tool for me. She didn't really do that. I've been through this a million times Before I get into the paint blending, just in case you haven't heard part one of the story, in a nutshell, our tour guide booked us five hours outside of Paris, in a ghost town, where half the shops and restaurants were closed. To find out why, you'll have to watch part one. We all decided to find a new Airbnb back in Paris with our own money to try and salvage what was left of our trip. So we all packed up and left early. Here I'm using the turquoise iris method with a water bottle and a rubber squeegee. I'm blending farm fresh and skeleton key to add depth to the base of the dresser. To see more about this method, click the link above. Where I left off in the story was our van was broken down on the side of the road. This big tow truck pulls up, all seven of us, Zeb, Jamie, Dion, Josie, myself, 
my sister, and Mara LaFay. We had to pile into the cab with no seat belts, and then he towed our van behind us with all of our luggage, all of our camera equipment, and our computers, and he towed us down the road to a Hertz rental car lot. And then when we got there, the lady behind the counter is like, you're with Alamo, not with Hertz. We don't even know why you're here. We can't help you. And Josie did a bunch of interpreting because she speaks a little bit of French and she called her in-laws and somehow we finagled a ride an hour away to our next Airbnb. Our tour guide was already at the house ahead of us when our van broke down. We immediately sent her an SOS, but she refused to come and get us. So we drove for hours in the dark after Alamo picked us up. I was taken by the moon Looking down on everything I never knew I wanted to create branches with lots of texture like my inspiration photo from anthropology. So I freeformed it, rolling out long snakes of clay and then pressing the wood grain stamp from Iron Orchid Design into the clay. If you never come around, how we ever gonna be? If you're always on the ground, then you're never gonna see what fallen feels like. I used chalk to lay out where I wanted my overall design of the branches to go, wrapping the pieces around the edge of the dresser, using a knife to cut the seams, and filling in with smaller pieces. We get into this new house. We have one day to see all of Paris. So we are literally hopping off the bus, running through the streets, getting back on the bus, and trying to cram all of Paris into one day. Call anytime you need me. As I edit this, I'm at a loss for words. All of these magnificent moments with some of my most cherished friends crammed into just a few short hours. And I think about what would have happened if we didn't take the trip into our own hands and leave the ghost town behind. We would have missed it. It feels a lot like life. Sometimes you have a choice to do the hard things, to take action so you don't miss the reward. Whatever your dreams are, big or small, most likely it will be hard and exhausting and not without conflict, but always worth the effort. But you gotta make up your mind And don't you let another day pass you by You were born to shine, but you know As the sun set over our day in Paris, a full moon rose over the lights of the city. It felt like a movie. As we approached the Eiffel Tower again, this time all lit up. It's a moment that I'll never forget. Deep inside of you And I has a way of breaking you down and leaving you breathless. I don't know why she had us out in the middle of nowhere for three nights out of the seven nights that we were there. My only guess is, is that's where she lived 
and she has a house full of antiques that she was hoping that we would buy. At this point, it was pretty obvious that our tour guide was not gonna take us to any of the French flea markets, and she markets the tour as the antique buying tour. Deb and Jamie were going live, and several of their followers said that we should Google something called a, and I'm not sure of the pronunciation, but a, a grand yay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it down below. It's, it's, I think grand yay means attic. People don't have garages in France, but they have attics. So imagine in the United States when all the neighborhoods get together and they have like a block garage sale or a neighborhood yard sale. So we were stoked about this and they got online and they found out about this neighborhood French yard sale. We got up early and we're driving to it. Our tour guide is in the van ahead of us and so we've got our GPS out and we're this close to the yard sale and we're so excited but we cannot find it. The other van, they immediately found the yard sale. Kathy tells our tour guide that we're lost. And Kathy is saying, you need to help them find this. Our tour guide just got out of the van and she didn't have time to stop and put the address into Kathy's phone because she was too busy shopping for her own antiques. What if we're living in a fantasy? Some world that I could only dream New colors bursting out of every scene A hidden land for you and me I'm using the paper clay from Iron Orchid Designs. Paper clay is very strong and pliable, but you want to apply them to your surface before the clay dries. If you have a project that requires a lot of molds, you can make them ahead of time, put them in Ziploc bags, and store them in your freezer. Sometimes our feet float off the ground. At this point, Kathy gets really mad, and she flags a stranger down on the street and asks her to type in the address so that we can find it with our GPS. We arrive about 20 minutes after them, and we have 15 minutes to shop. And let me tell you, it was the stuff that dreams are made of. It was filled with antiques and it was unbelievably priced. My heart is breaking because I only have time to go to two or three houses. My sister is very organized and very meticulous. She cares about us not missing our appointment for Monet's Gardens. I'm a block away and I hear my sister calling my name. Get in the van, Debbie! And Kathy, she's right beside me. And her sister Sarah says, if you just go around the corner, there's three more houses with all kinds of amazing things for sale. Pretend like you don't hear her, Kathy, just run. So Kathy and I are running down the street. We can't do it, we've gotta turn around, we gotta go back, my sister's gonna be furious with us. We have to just be happy with what we found. And so we turned around and we got back in the van and I did get a few things. I spent maybe 10 euros in the wholesale, but we missed the big part of it. If we would have just gone a few more blocks, there was a whole 20 more houses with things for sale and we missed it. Gonna lift it up. After the molds had dried overnight, I went back with DIY paint, using water to get down into the details and highlighting all the branches, the leaves, the flowers, and the butterflies. I'm using Dion's brushes from the Turquoise Iris. I love them because they're great quality and they're perfect for details like this. You can find them on the Paint Pixie website. The link is below. So there's a lot more to this story, and I have lots of footage of Monet's Gardens and Versailles and the flea markets, but this video will be an hour long, so I'm going to save those stories for later and jump ahead to the end. We don't want to be, and there's a lesson up until the very last minute of this trip, this tour guide made life difficult for us. We all had flights within about an hour of each other. We planned to be at the airport three hours ahead of time, and my sister is looking at the map of the airport, and we needed to go to gate two. But according to the map, there was only gate one and gate three. So we go to our tour guide. What 
exit do we need to take so that we can get to our proper gate? Don't worry about it, I know. I will show you when we get there. Five o'clock in the morning, all the vans are loaded. Zeb is driving our van and she is driving the van behind us. And then as soon as we got to the airport, she was supposed to pull ahead of our van and drive us to the gate that we needed to get to and she doesn't pull ahead of us. And Zeb says, she told me 20 minutes ago that she would pull ahead. This was our agreement and now she's not doing it. And so then we miss our exit and we have to circle the entire airport and there's traffic. And it takes us 45 minutes to get back to where we are supposed to exit. My sister was about to have a heart attack and we are starting to panic. The last thing to do is add white wax to the entire surface. This blends all the colors beautifully. Here I'm using our DIY wax brush and I'm buffing the surface with the Paint Pixie buffing brushes. You can find the brushes on our website and you can find the buffing brushes on the Paint Pixie website. In a bar that's hopping with all the false prophets surrounding me. So I see, yeah. Zeb just drops us off at gate one and we're just hoping for the best. And we've got like seven huge suitcases filled with stuff. Breathing and puffing and running with all of these suitcases and I'm just booking as fast as I can but the suitcases are heavy. We we get to the, the terminal and there's the escalators and there's no way that I can navigate all of these suitcases. So we're looking for the elevator. This elevator is the size of a bathroom and then the elevator won't go down. It just won't. So I get on the escalator. This right here is one of my four suitcases. You know how you can pull this thing up and then stack another another small like carry-on suitcase around this thing? But when you get to the end of the escalator, there's this little bump. I lift up on the suitcase and all of a sudden I lose my balance and I fall backwards and my suitcase falls on top of me and then it's a domino effect. I'm laying on the ground and my sister falls behind me and then Mara, she like jumps up on the side of the escalator and puts her feet against the two side panels and everybody behind her does the same thing and then these strangers come over, slide out. We all just take a deep breath and, and regroup and then we run for the customs line and it's wrapped all the way around and we know there's no way we're gonna make our flight. Mara, she just goes up to the guy, look, we have an emergency. He takes us to the front of the line and then Mara's suitcase is overweight by five pounds and my suitcase is also overweight. So I had to pay an extra $200 to get my suitcase home because I didn't have an extra moment to spare to reshuffle my suitcase. What if we're living in a fantasy? Some world that I could only dream New colors bursting out of every scene A hidden land for you and me And the minute the plane takes off I felt this sense of peace come over me. And it was like the door to France had shut and we were on our way back to the United States. And from that moment on, nothing else went wrong. Several people that I know, that you know, that you follow have been approached by this person and their stories are worse than mine times 10. So that's it, that's my story. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. To find DIY paint in your area or to sell it in your store or for more information on Iron Orchid Designs, click the link below. And let me know in the comments if you have ever had a vacation go wrong. Thanks for watching. I'm telling you I just can't live without you. I need you right now cause you got me going. Gimme, 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 gimme that love. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me
get a cherry on top. 